At 4 o'clock, number 5, Georgia, who's 10 and 2. Taking on number 2, Texas, who's 11 and 1. Texas favored by 2.5 points on ABC. Carson Beck has gone 253 of 435, thrown for 3,429 yards. 28 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. Nate Frazier's had 123 carries for 587 yards and 8 touchdowns. And Arian Smith said 42 catches for 709 yards and 4 touchdowns. Quinn Ewers has gone 206 of 306, thrown for 2,307 yards, 24 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. Quinn Trevion Wisner has had 157 carries for 812 yards and 3 touchdowns. And Gunnar Helm has had 48 catches for 600 yards and 5 touchdowns. Uh, Texas is 4-2 and two against Georgia all-time. Last game did go to Georgia this year. Um, Texas is 2-1 and one in one-possession football games against Georgia. Uh, Kirby Smart is 1-1 one and one against uh, Texas in his career as the Georgia football head coach. Um, Sark's 0-1 against Georgia. So, obviously, Kirby Smart is 1-0 against Steve Sarkeesian. Um, again, that was earlier in the year when Texas looked like they were killing through the number one team in the nation, and then Georgia beats them, right? Uh, and that put... It made Texas no longer the number one team in the nation. It's their only loss on the year, and Texas is looking to avenge that. I think what's going to be really interesting here, again, if Texas wins and Penn State beats Oregon, Texas is going to get the one seat. You would think... Um, they would just move up a spot because I don't honestly think I I don't think um, beating Oregon is going to be that much better of a win than beating Georgia. I don't think it's going to influence that much. So I think everyone just moves up a spot if that was to happen. So I I, I like Texas. Uh, if Texas wins this game, they're going to be the one seed, right? If the worst case scenario, if they lose it, um, they're the six seed is worst case scenario. So if you're Texas and you win this game, you want Penn State to win. If you're Texas and you lose this game, you want Oregon to win. Because if Penn State will be beneath you with a loss, uh, they'll be the six seed, you'll be the five. Um, if, if you lose and Oregon loses, then Oregon will be ahead of you. They'll be the five, you'll be the six. And it's a little bit different. And you're playing likely the Big 12 champ, I would say, uh, versus like... Um, I don't know, uh, who, who's 11 seed right now? Uh, like, Alabama? I think there's a difference. Um, I, it should be Miami, but regardless, it's it's a little bit of a different team. I think it's a little bit different, it's a little bit scarier if you're the 5 seed versus over you're the 6 seed, right? Um, Georgia, on the other hand, the whole win here, if you're Georgia. Here's the thing, though, uh, you're getting the 2 seed if you win if you're Georgia. Like, that's that's it. That's the end of the discussion. You're not passing Penn State, and you're not passing Oregon. So, best case scenario, if you win, if you're Georgia, you're the two seed. Um, if you lose, if you're Georgia, you're suddenly the seven seed. So, it's the difference between playing, you know, like, in the first round or getting that bye. It's a massive difference. Um, so, I think this is going to be a really important game. I think Texas gets revenge here. I think Texas gets revenge on Georgia. I think they hand Georgia their third loss. And again, I don't think you should be holding conference championships against the teams. I understand that it's a 13th data point, and a 13th data point can be negative. But I think you say dangerous precedent. Um, and we're, I'm going to talk about this a lot later with it. I'm going to get a lot deeper with it, Clemson, SMU. But I think you set a dangerous precedent if you just you treat a conference champion loser really poorly. I understand that's what we did in years past. But the difference between this and years past is we only allowed four teams in, right, in years past. And so a lot of the times, if you played in a conference championship and lost, um, you would get kicked out for someone who did win their conference championship, right? And so, again, I think that's a lot more reasonable than kicking someone out for, a, like, a 9-3 and three team that didn't play in their conference championship. I think that's a dangerous precedent to set. Um, but regardless, I think Texas is the better team. I think uh, they're going to prove it here today. I like Texas to win and cover.